even those who live across the sea. 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 Hello from Pastor Ken Harley. It is September 18th, Sunday morning. We are at the Kama Cafe right before we get ready for House of Prayer and our service. We are at the Kama Cafe. Everybody say hello, man. Hello. Today we're going to talk about Jesus when he was talking and giving the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5. We are today and we're on the 21st verse. And a um, couple of thoughts last night as I was preparing. Don't let the enemy, don't let the enemy take you out on a Saturday night or before you do any ministry. Don't let the spirit of fear from the enemy come and get you. Instead, have the Holy Spirit singling, shangling, singling, that's a Chinese or shangling, can, uh, Mandarin for Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is working. Okay, the last night, one of the attacks that hit me was I had an understanding of what people who go through long-term medical illnesses, physical illnesses go through, to where they feel left aside if they can't get to every church meeting because of whatever energy or illness they feel left aside. They don't feel like they can do anything. They watch too much TV and get an unfair, unrealistic view of the world. And they become to go down into their bitterness, go down into their sorrow, go down into the fact that everybody else is doing great things. And maybe they screwed up and they messed up. But like this song, even those who live across the sea will rejoice and love the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Laszlo and his team for making this wonderful worship CD. See Pastor Laszlo, Authentic Worship, if you want a free CD. And uh, they also have music so you can play them in your church scripture songs, okay? So people, even me last night, we were feeling like our friends are doing great things. People are going out. They're enjoying the holiday. They're having great family times. They're doing ministry times. And maybe my time's up, but the devil wants to take us down, wants us to despair, wants us to envy other people's joy, wants us to become bitter. But the Lord says, even those who live across the sea will praise and worship, and we are righteous, and we still have great joy, great energy. That is where we go into Matthew 21. Jesus said, people, you not only have trouble sometimes with murdering, actually physically killing others, but you have trouble because you murder people in the spirit. You murder them. You say raka, the Aramaic word for you're no good, you're nothing, we disrespect you. You call people fool, but Jesus is saying we got to let all of that go. We got to let the bitterness go. We got to let the envy go. We got to live and breathe. If I'm going to lose my leg, the doctor told me a year ago, he said, you should be out going to Disneyland and having fun with, while you have your leg. I need to minister and encourage and be on fire for God for the rest of my life, no matter what happens. But I'm trusting the Lord that he's going to heal me. He's going to take care of me. Jeremiah 29, 11, he has good plans for my life and he has good plans for you. Jesus said, let go of the murderous thoughts. Let go of the bitterness. Let go of all the bad stuff in your heart, no matter what people have done to you, and live. Take a comma, take a breather, and let the Holy Spirit hit you. Last night, the Holy Spirit hit me. The Holy Spirit hit me. The Holy Spirit hit me. The Holy Spirit hit me and I could take a breather. The enemy was attacking so hard because I made 75 little cross necklaces. The Lord gave me an idea on how to continue the ministry with jewelry. 75 that people will get. I'm gonna go get some more. We're gonna have a few hundred of these that we will share the shiny love of Jesus. This morning I gave away 10 already to Catholic believers 
who said, we love Jesus, we love the cross, it helps us believe. That's why we're doing it, and that's why the enemy hits us so hard. He doesn't want us to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. He doesn't want us to pray out of our weakness and see many people encouraged. He doesn't want us to be on fire for God, believing, hallelujah, 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 and living and thriving. He wants us to be dead, and he wants us to be murdering others in our hearts and physically. Jesus says, I rebuke Satan with the words of God. And we stick with Jesus. We stick with him. And we rebuke the works of the devil. And we live. Look around. It's a beautiful day. A sunshiny day here in Mongkok. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. And God is on the move. Don't you agree? God is on the move. Through hundreds of thousands of Christians in Hong Kong that are being kind to one another. That are trying to help and are not listening to the things that are trying to destroy them. God is on the move, and he's on the move for you too. Okay? Jesus said, let it all go. Let your accusations from the devil, the adversary, and from your friends go. Let the bitterness of years go. Repent to your friends. Apologize. Try to be kind. It may be hard for people to believe you that you love them even though you've argued in the past. So just try to serve. They might not come to church. They might not do what you want. Find out what they like to do and love them through it. Bless them. Some of the hardest people I've worked with in my life, I found out what they loved and I helped them with what they loved and they now love me and hopefully they will love God soon. Bless you. Be encouraged. Jesus will cleanse us from all righteousness and we will be happy. One more thing. I had a vision that people have been grabbed and done physical abuse has done, been done to them. They have been screamed at. They've been grabbed. They've been threatened. Jesus wants to heal you of that hurt. Lord Jesus, we pray right now that people who have been hurt, who have been threatened, who have been grabbed, you will forget, forgive the captors. They didn't know what they were doing, and you will bring healing to my friend's life. Let them know how much you love them, and you're going to take away all their bitter memories and their bad dreams and their hurt and fear. And you will place it with love. Your perfect love casts out all fear. Fear and we are healed. You will heal us. Give everybody a great day today. In Jesus' name, amen.